With the GTA 6 trailer right around the corner, literally uh, maybe a week away yeah. as of the making of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing? How my single chats are doing today? Because we are literally a dance away from the GTA 6 trailer. It is happening, my brother. It is happening. Seriously, though, on a real though. It doesn't feel real, man. I cannot be the only one that's thinking this. It's just so quiet right now. Obviously, Rockstar Games, they have confirmed the fact that we're gonna be getting in, er in early December. I don't think we're gonna get it on December the 1st because if, if it was really on December the 1st, they would have said December 1st instead of early December. You feel what I'm saying? But it just doesn't feel real. But regardless, man, it's happening in a few days. Let's hope that it's not the GTA Mobile trailer, though. Yo, what you gonna do if it's a GTA Mobile trailer? Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new, because we're gonna be live streaming the reveal, and let's get into it. Yo, fans across the internet are talking about what they realistically expect from the game itself, which has been exciting to follow. You guys yeah. in the comments, let me know. What do you- Uh, I think they're gonna be nerfing the Lucia Bruna. Yeah, it's nice to be real, right? Like, the Bruna is gonna be like 50 gigs. It's gonna take 50 gigs of file size, and that's gonna be too much. Too many gigs, too many gigabytes, right? So, if it's 50 gigabytes, bruh, you better believe it. The game is easily gonna surpass 200 gigabytes. And they, it's gonna be Joe over. The PS5 will be Donzo, Donzo, Finetto. The Series X will cease to exist, right? Your memory card will cease to exist. So, uh, I, I, and that Bruna is definitely gonna take over 50 gigabytes. So, guys, I'm sad to say they're probably gonna nerf it, though. I expect the nerf Bruna, Brad, to be honest. Actually, expect from this trailer up to this point. We've been talking about leaks that may or may not be real or supposed insiders telling hey, us what? what to expect from the game. But now that Rockstar has promised a trailer in early December, fans are getting a bit more realistic about what they're expecting from Rockstar's new game. And today, yeah. we're going to go over the hot topics in the community. <laughs> we may or may not end Today? It's not like, bruh, like, bruh, 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 bruh. bruh. Bro, that today comes literally every single day. Today, we're going to talk about the leaks. Today, we're going to talk about the leaks. Today, we're going to talk about the leaks. And today, we're going to talk about the leaks. But honestly, bro, we in the end game right now, so. Up getting confirmation on in a few days. We're going to talk about shooting mechanics. We're going to talk oh, wow. about the map. So, like I said, yes, sir. let yes, me know sir. what you realistically are expecting from GTA 6. When we I, I think the Bruna is going to be nerfed. Uh, uh, I think the game is going to come out in the year 2077. Um, um, I think there will, get, uh, there will be a lot of uh, shark cards. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully not, but let's be realistic. Finally, yes. lay our eyes on it. Drop a like. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. We've got yeah, a lot like coming. And, boys. and let's start with a thread that recently started picking up Hell steam yeah. on the GTA 6 subreddit. It's going over all the possible adjustments to the shooting mechanics in GTA 6. I want to talk about the details because there's some really good ideas here. Plus, I think it's to be expected that Rockstar is going to make some changes to the way the shooting works in the new game because GTA 4 and 5 tend to get a decent amount of criticism, well, at least Where? for modern gamers, over the combat. Where? Where? Show me one criticism, bruh. Show me one criticism. We love the game, bruh. We love the game, bro. The story was amazing, bro. The the weapon mechanics were amazing, too, bro. Everything was good except for, like, the, the first-person shooter element. It was a little bit clunky, but nobody really expected to see the first-person shooter in GTA, and when they dropped it, it, it felt actually kind of decent, though. It felt kind of good, though, and that was kind of like, uh, uh, that was kind of like an extra bonus, so I, I feel like they're gonna go in the same direction, and I hope the first-person mechanic is better, but other than that, like, bruh, we ain't dying over, like, the weapon mechanics. We just want the story good, uh, map good, gameplay good, a lot a lot to do in the open world, online being better, the, the Lucia Bruna not being nerfed out, yeah. right? That, that's what we expect, man. That's what we hope for, at least, but we expect, uh, we expect the Bruna is probably gonna be nerfed though to be honest not to say gta 4 and 5 have bad shooting mechanics but they're they're a tad dated compared to the other third person shooters that have come out in the last of course this game came out a decade ago bro it's a decade and rockstar is surely taking notes or have taken notes and they're gonna make gta 6 feel more akin to modern days uh -huh. the gta 6 game seriously benefits from the intuitive shooting system and there's a lot of improvements that can be made over gta 5 and red dead redemption 2. there better be a lot of improvements that that get to be made because listen man this game came out a decade ago bro if rockstar games y'all suckers do not improve the game i'm a, uh, i'm gonna do nothing but like, but like damn bro like if the game sucks bro like i'm i'm sorry to say but bruh I'm gonna become a monk and I'm gonna settle myself on a mountain in Tibet, guys. Like, it'd be like that sometimes, guys. Like, let's be real. 
If GTA 6 is bad, then bruh, it's gonna be over. It's gonna be Fineto, Danzo, Danzo, bro. I'm gonna, in fact, I will be Gonzo at that point if GTA 6 is bad. Because after that, I guess there will be no, no hope, man. There wouldn't be any more hope left. I hope this game is good, though. Like the video if you want this game to be good, though. Now, remember, this is the same company that made Max Payne 3, which is one of the best third-person shooters of all time to this True. day. So they are capable of making amazing combat. But like I True. said... A thread on the GTA 6 subreddit kicked off this discussion and they made some points of what could be coming to GTA 6 in regards to shooting. One thing they mentioned was a leveling system, kind of similar to what was in GTA San Andreas. For those that didn't play that game, San Andreas actually had basic weapon upgrades as a system where the longer you used a certain gun, the oh, more wow. options you would unlock with it. So it wasn't like a modern leveling system like you would see in Far Cry or maybe The Division, but instead you would simply unlock more options for the gun you were using. Like how oh, if you use the micro SMG for long enough, you would unlock the option to dual wield it. Yo, now there's plenty of ways. Yo, okay, hey, honestly, that is crazy. And he's right with that, to be honest, because I remember, yeah, once you start like uh, getting the experience point, you could have unlocked like dual wield. And we're talking about a game that came out like two decades ago, bruh. Oh, shit. And that was on the PS2 and the original Xbox. It, it was absolutely wild, though. San Andreas is hands down one of the best game, but one of the best video game ever in the history of mankind. These Rockstar could expand upon that idea, add things like weapon engravings, better aiming, nothing fancy like other open world shooters, but something special enough to make it rewarding to use the same gun for a long period of time. Yeah. Now, it's also likely that the weapon wheel is going to be adjusted from previous GTA games because with GTA 6 seemingly taking a more realistic approach to gameplay... Dog, nah, come on, man! Like, stop with that BS, bro! Like, we all know that Lucia Brunet is gonna be fed. That's gonna be able to carry, like, 20 billion weapons, bro! The weapon... The weapon wheel better be big! The weapon wheel better be big, though! Because we all know that Brunet is big and that Brunet has the capacity of holding at least 20, 20 weapons at one time with full ammo though. You feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you know, if you know, if you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, if you know, you know, and you know, if you know, if you know, if you know, you know, you know, guys, you know. I kind of doubt yeah. you'll be able to hold 10 guns in your pockets at all times. I'm sure the weapon will yeah. return because it's, let's, I mean, we all agree, probably. It's a great way to give the player more control of what they want to do, but I'm expecting it to only have four or five options on it instead of the usual nine to 10. So you won't be able to carry a bunch of full-size weapons in your back pocket, but instead, you'll probably be able to carry a melee weapon, a sidearm, maybe one or two larger guns, and you'll use the weapon wheel to switch between those. And then, maybe as a way to compensate for this smaller equipment load, you'll be able to mix and match your dual-wielding options. Like, if you were carrying an SMG and a pistol, you could unlock the ability to whip them both out at the same time. Rockstar probably doesn't want to take too much away from the player compared to previous GTA games. I mean, listen, if you're going to be whipping it out, that's literally going to be taking too much away from the player, bruh, because you're literally whipping it out. You're literally whipping it out, man. What do you mean, bro? Man, come on, bruh. Like, come on, man. Games, but I also seriously out. doubt they're going to bring back the magic gun pockets that previous Magic game. gun? Astas Astas what are we talking about here, bro? Whipping it out. Magic gun. Like, damn, bro. Like, come on, man. Get stop with that, bro. Games did because that would end up being kind of a. Uh, kind it of wouldn't a, be kind of be a serious immersion yeah, breaker. Kind of been kind of, uh, kind of, and kind of. Drop the like button for the kind of, guys. A game that is probably going to be pre. Or it's going to be realistic. <laughs> now, frankly, <laughs> I'm hoping Rockstar. Yo, what? What? You oh, my God. <laughs> probably going to be pre. Or it's going to be realistic. <laughs> Yeah, gonna be realistic. Guys. Gonna now, be. frankly, <laughs> I'm hoping Rockstar takes notes from Max Payne 3 when it comes to the combat. That game had phenomenal movement and shooting, and if GTA 6 is gonna be more action oriented, Rockstar could basically they could copy paste the mechanics of Max Payne 3. They could. It would automatically be a huge improvement over GTA 5. Bro, you know what? At this point, just copy paste from GTA 5. If you're gonna give them the legroom of copying and pasting from older games, then at this point, Brad, they better copy and paste your dick, son. Dog, <laughs> 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 no, like, nah, bro. You just get one, on, bro. I'm not saying GTA 5's gameplay was bad, because obviously nah, if it, it was, but... we wouldn't be playing it 10 years after release. Yeah. But GTA 6 True. needs to beef it up. And since Rockstar has one of the best third-person shooters ever made sitting around in their True. offices in the closet, True. it would make total sense. It would, it would make sense for them to start looking at that work that was already done 
and move yep. those ideas yep. Yep. into GTA 6. Hell yeah. Now let's shift gears. That's shift gears. Another very interesting thread started getting a lot of attention on Reddit recently, Damn. and I think it's worth talking about. We hear a lot about how excited people are for GTA 6 and all the crazy gameplay improvements we're expecting, but what about the other side of the coin? What are yeah. some of the things you do not want in the game? Yeah. Uh, what about it, though? What, what, guys, what do you not want to see in the game? I just don't want to see Lucia Bruna getting nerfed out, though. But, guys, we all expect it at the end of the day. I hope that we do not get the GTA Mobile trailer, though. That's one of the biggest things that I do not want to see. I also do not want to see a double Megalodon Shark card where you spend at $200 and you get $16 million instead of, like, $8 Bruh. million. Like, we have a Megalodon. I do not want to get double Megalodon. That's one of the things that I do not want to see. What else I don't want to see, though? I also don't want to see the Bruna being, like, 50 gigabytes in file size. That's going to be too much. Even I have to say that's going to be too much, then that's going to be too much. If it's too much, it is too much. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. A recent thread asked Reddit users what their biggest GTA 6 turnoffs would be, and some of the responses were actually pretty interesting. One user said GTA 5's fighting mechanics, which I honestly agree with. Even though GTA 5 is the best-selling game in the franchise and one of the biggest games of all time, the hand-to-hand -hand fighting mechanics, were, they weren't very good. I think everybody would benefit from them being overhauled to something a bit more responsive and less dependent on animations. One user said their biggest turnoff would be the inability to break through volleyball nets, which I didn't even think of, but okay. <laughs> That would be an immersion breaker in GTA 6, so I'm gonna agree. A rather common what? sentiment was forced online for the campaign, which is something that's gotten a lot more common over the last few years. I Bruh. don't know why so many games now force you to be online, even if you're just playing single yeah, player. Yeah, I do not know why. I don't know why. I seriously do not know why they force you always online. Why? Okay. Give me one reason. I, I know it's the money. I mean, at, at the end of the day, like money is the root of all evil, they said, and it is the facts, guys. And if Rockstar does this Probably for that. GTA 6, a lot of people are going to be pissed. I mean, don't you think it's funny that back in the early 2010s, a bunch of publishers got in a lot of trouble because they tried to force us into online connections and single player games? It's crazy how now it's not even surprising if a AAA game requires online for single player. Mm. I thought we would have eliminated that from the industry, but... We didn't. Yeah, they just want to make sure, like, if you actually bought the game or not. And they also, for some reason, like, paywall you as well. Because they're, like, verifying for you. Like, you know, if you really own the game or not. And if you do not own the game, then get your ass in the PlayStation Store. And they're probably hoping and praying that you lost your disc and you lose your disc. Uh, if you bought it digitally, that you lose your license somehow. So you have to repay again. That's probably what they want. And there's probably like another loophole or some bull squash like that. But guys, recently we had the entire GTA 6 map leak out. Click on this video on the screen. We do an entire walkthrough on it. And the map is looking hella lit though. Click on it and I'll see you right there.